hey what's up guys what's going on welcome back to kitchen tonic welcome back to another brand new and tasty recipe on this channel in this video today we're going to be making some nice baked red snapper as you can tell by the title guys so to begin the ingredients we're going to be using for this recipe today are some onions carrots red bell pepper fine leaf thyme green bell pepper over here i have some fish seasoning over here i have some caribbean green seasoning over here i have some culantro paste guys this is not to be confused with cilantro again guys this is culantro over here i have some black pepper over here i have some cajun creole seasoning and over here i have some ginger powder guys and of course i have my fish here i have two fishes that i'm gonna be baking here today guys so without further delay let's jump right into this all right guys just ignore the left side of your screen for right now of course focus on the fish here we're gonna begin seasoning our fish here first i'm gonna begin with my fish seasoning guys i'm just gonna coat the fish nice on both sides with my fish seasoning and a little bit of backstory what I went ahead and did with my fish here I went ahead and removed the fin and everything from them and then I I poured a little bit of lime slash lemon juice on them and then I had them sitting for about an hour while they absorbed all those goodness from those lime juice guys and of course I went ahead and made my cuts on my fish and that's gonna make the fish not puff up too much when it's being baked guys so yeah here are my fish seasoning on my fish here Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some black pepper on top of my fish. Of course, you wanna try and get both sides. I'm gonna go on with some of my ginger powder. And this ginger is gonna give this fish a nice taste and smell, guys. Now, I'm not using all of my ginger powder, of course, because you don't want the ginger powder to overpower this, the taste of your fish guys I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Creole seasoning and now I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my green seasoning like I said guys we are gonna season these fishes today thoroughly you want to get your seasoning all inside, all over. Next, we're going to use some of our culantro paste here. And then we're gonna go on in with our seasoning here. The rest of our seasoning, our vegetables. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place my onions in the middle of my fish, guys. As you can see, there's some opening on my fish here. I'm just gonna place my onions inside as much as I can.
I'm gonna go ahead with my fine leaf thyme as well. Try to stuff those inside as well. And now we're just gonna place the rest of our vegetables on top of our fish, guys. So I have my carrots and my bell peppers. All right, so now you're just gonna wrap your fish in your foil paper here. So we're gonna fold one edge over and we're gonna fold the other edge over. We're gonna also fold the sides because we don't want our liquid and our, and our tastiness, our juices leaking out from our fish. So that's number one. I'm gonna go ahead and do number two here. Just go ahead and fold it on over. Just like that. And go ahead and fold the sides over as well. All right guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and place my fish onto my baking rack here. And I'm gonna place the folded side turned upwards so that I wanna try to reduce the amount of liquid that's gonna seep out from the edges. All right, and I'm gonna place this into my oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. So I'll be back when this fish is finished cooking or baking. All right guys, so here we are. I just removed my snapper fish here from the oven and it's ready to go. Let me show you guys what we're dealing with here. As you can see, it's still steaming, but it's very nice and flavorful. Be sure to try this recipe. Let me know what you guys think. And that is it for this video. I'll see you guys again another time, another day.